Stevie, welcome to London. It's really a pleasure to see you. Uh, the first concert, too, last night that you've done in London for about three or four years, isn't it? Um, yes, no, go ahead. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure being in London and at this no sincerity. Right. Um, we picked uh, working here because uh, I just wanted to. You know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> The concerts, I, I saw the second house last night, and the concert seemed very loose and very easy to. Had you been rehearsing it for very long? No, as a matter of fact, we didn't rehearse it at all. <laughs> um, the show, the, uh, the preceding show, the first show was not good. We had, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, satisfied with what I did and what, what we had. We had a lot of technical problems and it just didn't work out right. Mm. But the second one, I felt good. <laughs> and I was very happy about it. I like to, I like uh, for the people when I do um, performances, and I like playing smaller places because I feel that um, even even the show we did, I mean, the audience is uh, three thousand. I think is enough mm. people. It's still intimate, you know. Um, you're close, you're somewhat close together, and you can just, you can, you can feel when you have like a big, big stadium, people are thousands and thousands of feet away, and mm. they can't really, really get too close to you, you know. The band that you were playing with last night, Steve, is that going to be the regular band now? Uh, it is called, it's called Wonder Love, yeah. which consists of, um, uh, two guitars, both of them play uh, lead and rhythm. Um, Marlo Henderson, Michael Cimbalo, um, Reginald McBride on bass, and Ollie Brown drums. And we have three singers, uh, Shirley Brewer, Lonnie Groves, and Denise Williams. Mm. How are the new recordings coming along, Steve? Because I know there's an album virtually completed now, isn't it? Um, it is. I haven't really decided, uh, as of yet, what I want to be on the album. Uh, we have so much new material. I recorded a lot of old, a lot of things that uh, I still have in the can. Um, I just haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Uh, I do know that this album will feature um, uh, me more with Wonder Love. Uh, than ever, or more with you know the players than ever before. Because the last time that we were speaking, when you came in and did my radio program with mm -hmm. me last year, we were talking about the uh, the Stones tour, and both of us were saying it's a pity that the recordings that were made on that tour weren't going to be released. But you were talking then about uh, a possible live album for this year. I mean, is that still going to go ahead? Um. Maybe, maybe the, the like the show we did, you know, here in uh, London will be a live album because I, I felt it. <clears throat> see, the thing about a live performance on, on record, it, it has to. It, I think it has to. Uh, uh, it has to bring the people. Um, they have to feel a part of it. The listener must feel a part of what's happening, and. Um, I didn't like um, the uh, performance that we did on the uh, the, the uh, Stones tapes. I didn't like it particularly, mm. and it was like um, it was like um, almost like it was it was a twenty minute side, I believe. But it like felt like it was maybe five, and that everything was rushed so mm. fast. It wasn't relaxed. It wasn't paced, you know. And you can hear that. I think if you listened, you could really hear it. And we had fun doing it. I think uh, if you are like at a performance, like you at the performance, you can uh, basically uh, you can see what's happening. So it, it's uh, it's a more it's a, a lot more visual than anything, you know. Because mm. since this was the first concert for a long time in London, Steve, did you notice 
Uh, I mean, the music has changed a fair bit, actually, since the last time you were here. Did you feel a change in the feeling that you got from the audience this time? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, we we did one song, which was uh, the... Uh, "Twas a Sky Blue Afternoon, which was not in the lineup at all. No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we... Uh, I just wrote that about a month ago. And... Uh, <clears throat> the... Uh, the, uh, the lyric, some of the lyric is, uh, the day I met you was an, quite an exciting one between the afternoon hour of 12 and 1. The overcast was also bright and sunny. It was a sky blue afternoon. Um, it was upon that morning I had promised me today would not make me its victim of defeat. The day I met you was so bright and sunny, a sky blue afternoon. You act as if my face or name you didn't know that we had only broken up a week ago. And even then I thought you just were fooling. You took me by surprise. And if somehow today I knew you'd break my heart, then I could tell my life's destiny from the start. Today was just the day you were to marry my best friend. Mm. So uh, the, the, um, the day I met you, the, the, uh, the title or the first... Um, a line would make you think uh, that the you know that the, the couple or the two people are just you know, they just met you know or talking about the time they did meet it was just on that particular day they met again and so we uh, did a thing I <clears throat> asked for two people to come on stage uh, uh, a man and his wife and uh, his uh, wife was to the right of me and he was to the left and so like I sang that to her right. as if she, uh, she was uh, my woman at a particular time you know a particular time you know <laughs> and, then, you know, and uh, people were not expecting they didn't know what I was doing I said well you know have these people come up and do this and do that so what is this dude doing now mm -hmm. Because you said halfway through the concert anyway, Steve, that you said, well, I feel like doing just what I feel like doing anyway. And that's the impression that I got from the concert. Very loose, very nice feeling to it. Have you had much chance to listen to music yourself over the last few months, Steve, other people's music? Um, for the most part, what I do is um, I listen to radio a lot. And from the radio, I hear everything. I like to change the stations and listen to many different kinds of things because I uh, I feel that um, uh, not only is, is uh, my world or a lot of my life music but um, it is uh, also knowing about what's happening uh, listening because other people do influence your ideas musically mm. you know it's like again feeding off of each other's energies you know um, listen to the news a lot, you know, things that are happening. Mm. And all of these things uh, make, uh, uh, make way for, for writing. Mm. What are your plans now when you get back to America? Are you touring over the next few months? Uh, when I get back, we're going to finish up the album. And uh, we're talking about doing a tour. There's been some talk about... Uh, Possibly myself and Paul McCartney. I really don't know for sure. Um, after we um, do it, I'd like to do a tour also of Europe. Mm. Come back uh, to England again, and then I would like to, and I am going to, go on a vacation. Just you know, cool out. I'd like to go to Tanzania, and uh, I'd like to go to Ghana. I'd like to just um, cool out. Vacation for a while because um, um, I think that everyone needs. I think uh, even even though I um, love music tremendously, you have to give yourself time to to rest and mm. get it together. Steve, thanks for the concert last night. It was incredible, and thanks for taking time off to speak with us today. And thanks for for letting me be part of the show.